So my name is Sam Prentice. I'm a UK robot builder. I've been building robots for the past five years. This particular robot is a 3D printed robot, fully 3D printed using GTEC, PLA and Creality printers. The robot is based on the ALT droids from Star Wars. It's a lesser known robot from the likes of R2-D2, but certainly more fun to race around on uneven surfaces due to its track design. With the original concept design by Jake Lund Davis, it didn't deviate too much from the original design work. Back to the ALT droid and let's talk numbers. This droid was printed at 0.2 millimeters with an eight mil nozzle and 20% infill. The dome took a total of five days and 15 hours and weighs in at 2.9 kilos. The total weight of the droid in 3D printed parts alone is just over 10 kilos, which is pretty impressive, but you're still able to lift it. The body took 12 days and weighs in at 4.7 kilos. The legs took 11 days and weighed in at 3.74 kilos. The skirt took two days, 15 hours, 1.3 kilos. Collar, three days, one kilo. Lower plate, one kilo. Details and small parts, around about five days and two kilos. And its total was 10.053 kilos. The print time came in at 40 days or 960 hours. Then we moved into sanding and painting, which was a couple of weeks worth of work. During that post-process time, I experimented with a number of colors. Luckily for me, I used graffiti paint to paint these type of models, which is basically a spray paint in a rattle can, which dries incredibly quickly. Of course, in the end, we settled for a red, gray, black, and a kind of blue combo, which I think worked really well. But let's talk about how this moves. So there are some 3D printed options when it comes to tracks. However, I already had this set up for tracks. Q85 motors, which are off push bikes, and also a snowblower track system. As it happens, the track motors are incredibly precise and can be tuned to be very quick. That being the case, when it came down to speed controller, the Robotech SBL 2360T was certainly the weapon of choice. And I've been very, very impressed with the speed and configuration of the setup thus far. So there are of course a couple of people that I would like to thank. Spring at GTEC, without you this obviously wouldn't have happened. Blake at Robotech, Mike B for the design, Lee for the track system, Graf City for the graffiti paint, and of course all of you guys for subscribing and following the progress of this build. Special mention also to my wife Hannah, who has been putting up with me making this stuff for five years now. But long may it continue.